I will show you the best possible Spanish La Liga players in every single position for you to buy an FC 20 result in team. Do you love the video? Leave a like. Let's go. Do you want to build a team you always dreamt about but you don't have the coins? No worries. Go to u7buy.com, the best possible place in the world for your fat coins. Use the code VIVA for a massive big discount and you can get the wins you always dreamt about. If you're a big fan of football shirts and you want to buy it for yourself or to give it to a friend, go to Soccer Real Shop. There is a link down in the description with the code VIVA. You receive a big discount of free shoots when you buy shoots. Kicking off the episode with the goalkeepers and a lot of questions I get with my friends around. Yo, VIVA, what is the most important part about a goalkeeper? I say three things. His length, for example, Courtois, he is six foot six. His reach is bigger than Oblak, Gazaniga and Rajkovic, even Ter Stegen. Then, then we have the diving and the reflexes that in comparison with low diving and reflexes and a small goalkeeper their reflexes their reach it will be bad so looking for a big goalkeeper looking for high reflexes and high diving Jan Oblach is a goalkeeper that will bring you that 90 handling that is great but something like that it's not the most important part and that's why Oblak is not my personal favorite because how many times it happens the goalkeeper with a quarter kick or with a long shot slips the ball, he lets it loose and there is a tap in. Like you see in real life and in pro evolution soccer back in the day, you saw that in game. You, you saw real live football. A shot, it got deflected, it got blocked and the goalkeeper just managed to get a hold on it, but it dropped back in the penalty area. Nowadays, goalkeepers, they just get the goal or they just push it wide. So I think the handling for that reason is not my biggest thing. So that's why Rajkovic is getting close to the qualities of Oblak. You can see that. 84 diving, 87 reflexes. The best for me, if you can spend around 40,000 coins, go for Thibaut Courtois. He is 6 foot 6 or even 6 foot 7. He is a giant. He has amazing reflexes. 93. That's a game changer for sure. Gazaniga is not bad. He's more all round. And the highest valued player is Ter Stegen. You can see why. 88 diving, 92 reflexes, and also good positioning, good kicking, good handling. So he has it all. The only thing that Courtois is better at is to reach. I believe Ter Stegen is 6 foot 3 or 6 foot 4, so that's the difference. When we go to the center backs, we can actually call it the Araujo position. Araujo is there as a cheap, medium, and expensive player. The guy is going crazy. If you like a cheap squad, go with Araujo, Kunde, Militao, Rodiger. They're all great. They're all great. You can't make a mistake. Want to take an upgrade from that? Informs are needed. With David Alaba, 80 rated. Well, 80 pace, I must say. 86 rated. 86 defending. Great on the ball as well and that is the difference with Araujo he is just a man marker he is deadly he's deadly in defense but horrible on the ball so combine it with Alaba to get a perfect mix of players combined want to go for the best possible center backs it's Jules Kunde with a sliding tackle playing style and Araujo once again but this time he's not there with the blocking playing style but the aerial playing style making him unbeatable in the air what a beautiful card as well probably one of the most boring positions in the Spanish La Liga it's the right back position but it did increase it didn't really since the start from the game let's be honest because we had Chiro Correa Laurenti and normal disappointing Carvajal. What do we get now? Carvajal special card. The Marcos inform card. Jao Cancelo special card. All of them raised the game on the right back position in the Spanish La Liga. So a big thumbs up for EA. I think they did a great this year looking to different leagues and looking for example to my videos and see what position is quite underrated. So let's bring players in on that position they did a wonderful job and this is what shows you when i made this video when eafc was just released the right back position was horrendous laurent was by far the best player who could play and it's not even his natural position luckily ea is improving from right back to left back and this gives us a lot of opportunities a lot of opportunities for a cheap player you can go with Jao Cancillo. he's great on the ball but a little bit too slow kieran tierney is a great option but same can be said about special card gaia and normal card mandy all of them are great if i can recommend anybody I would still say try Mandy first because he seems to be 
overpowered, some way or the other one, even more than the rest. Going a step up from these players, you go for Juan Capdevilla and Acunda. Both of them won a World Cup. Capdevilla did it in 2010, Acunda did it in, well, 2022. Everybody remembers that. And the best possible players you can get, it's simple. It's the Mendy movie. Mendy Centurion, Mendy Centurion upgrade, it's all there. And, well, this card didn't even need a playing style, but 87 rated Mendy actually got one in the brother thing. Like, his brother, is he the goalkeeper Mendy of the Al Ali club or Al Hilal? Is it actually true? I never knew it because one is Senegal, one is France, but hey, um, let me know. This Mendy brother card is just incredible. Position that also got nice upgrades along the road. It's a CDM position. We had to do it with Kamavinga and Chuameni. That is not what you want. You want better. Herrera and Cuadrado is a good step in the right direction. And with Mascherano and Marquez, who are normally center backs, for me, they're too slow to play as a center back. I can also put them on that CDM position. But EA, if you see the video, the CDM spot in the La Liga can need something extra. But no problem, we have to send the midfielders to Mega for if you want to build yourself a La Liga team, I can recommend you boys send them mates all over the place. For example, we have Modric, Gavi, Frankie, Pedri, Bellingham, all gold players with good playing styles like Relentless on Bellingham keeps running, Trivella on the young and Modric outside of the foot passing and shooting is very overpowered nowadays so yes you can't make a wrong decision. If that is not good enough go for Tony Kroos with pace in his inform card he got that. Tony Kroos, Mika Marino, Saul Ninguez all of them are great options for you to go for. Also Pedri with a Tiki Taka playing style you don't see a lot on each card guys. Tiki Taka playing style is really rare like like Charizard was the first time the Pokemon cards hits the shelves. It's like Pidri Tiki Taka style. The best possible Santo mids. I like to go to Madrid. I'm honest about that. With Modric 93. Valverde, 90 rated. These cards will blow opponents away. You can see the Trivella on Modric once again. This card is exceptional. I played against him. I played with him a couple of times in the draft mode. And I must say, he really surprised me in combination with Valverde you have the perfect combo if you don't like them you can go with the Paul and Bellingham two 88 rated players who are more physical monsters we can be rather quick boys with the camp position it is well not the best once again go for La Liga go with Santo Mids. plus if you need a cam go with Fakir that's it Haji is now playing for Alaves. His career didn't really turn out as big as his dad. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. Fakir, Munio in, a lot of camps you can use. Ishko and Sunset, they're not really it, are they? They are just, well, for me, not good enough. But that is my opinion. I just have to show you those guys because they are the medium budget. And the best by far is Trivella playing style, Nabil Fakir. Nobody can touch this guy. His long shots are amazing. His dribbling and close control is even like cheating the game. So try to get Nabil Fakir in a combination with Modric and Valverde and you're the king of La Liga. We go down the wing. If you love these videos, by the way, leave a like. It will mean the world to me. Take you a couple of seconds. Subscribe for more and put on the notification bell. That's it, boys. The cheapest right wingers in the La Liga. We go with Rafinha and Thunderstruck. Tsiganov with Girona when I'm making this video around half December close to Christmas Girona could be the lesser city of 2016 and surprising everybody winning the league they beat Barcelona at home two goals to four so yes they can do it who knows what will happen they might end up in the sixth spot but Champions League football they can actually get it and who knows fighting for the league title with Barca and Real Madrid focusing on the Champions League Tsiganov could be a team after season superstar for winning that league so yes great players you can also see the likes of Rodrigo and Kubo by the way and um, going up from there it's hard Luka Bakio is there financially he's worth a lot but he isn't that great Iñaki Williams he is great he can also play as a striker by the way so choose where you want to use Iñaki Williams with the 96 pace I don't have to tell you the boy is a lightning bolt he's great who's better his younger brother Nico Williams you don't want that I guess as an older brother or maybe you do you might be proud of what he does Nico Williams 95 pace 88 dribbling the shooting and the passing at this stage of FIFA is not is not that impressive but 
His pace and dribbling, he's uncatchable. It's boring down the other wing. I'm honest about that. Who can you get on the left-hand position? Karashko, he plays in Qatar, but his card is still one of the best cheap cards you can get for 15k. Or you have to go with Samuel Ligno. Is he the man you want to get, Samuel Ligno? I'm not quite sure. He isn't that great. He is okay. But if you actually want to get yourself a top-notch left winger, it is Futre or Vinicius. Vinicius Thunderstruck. I can't do it any other way because, well, the left wing in comparison with the right wing doesn't give us a lot of great opportunities. EA, I hope you're watching. Give us a good left wing card who is in a medium budget. Strikers, strikers, strikers. Goals, goals, goals is what we want. So we're finishing off the episode with this one. Leave a like, subscribe, buy these amazing shirts for Christmas with big discount. Go to Soccer Deal Shop. There's a link down below using code VIVA. We'll get you free shirts if you buy shirts. And don't forget to buy the coins at U7Buy to buy all these amazing players into your squad for just a couple of bucks instead of put putting and spending that on FIFA points and gambling on packs. Who wants to do that? I won't. So the best cheap strikers, you can call Morales. He is great, guys. If you know OG, he is OG. He's still overpowered. Combining with Angel Correa and the goals will be flying your way. If you don't like them, Antoine Griezmann and Rodrigo will give you a different vibe, more pace, higher stats on the passing so be my guest and try them all out if you go to the medium budget we find the likes of morientes and lewandowski lewandowski by the way is great you can also see him as the expensive player lewandowski is a powerhouse if you try him in game he's unbeatable on the ball and his shots are lightning quick and um, griezmann once again full on griezmann is mr striker i guess because he is on the cheap medium and expensive budget because he is just insane so here they are the best in all league up players in every single position i hope you loved the video if you want to see more click the i button i made a couple of days ago this same video for the premier league so building a premier league side well i can help you well i thank you all for watching i wish you all a nice day and as you know for me keep it cool keep it real and ciao for now